Welcome to Every Coach Needs a Coach, the podcast for coaches of all sports and all age groups to learn from coaches and people they may otherwise never have the chance to meet. I want to share with you guys a series of tweets from um, a pastor named John Tyson. And this is from Adam Bradley, who founded Lead Em Up. He talks about parenting and he says, I would see my kids doing the wrong thing and lecture, lecture, lecture. I would start in a nice tone, then ramp up the intensity as their eyes glazed over. Then I would start to nag. I'd nag when they woke up, nag in the car, when they got home, nag when they were home, nag when they went to bed. What a beat down of a culture. Who wants to live in a world like that? Nagging is one of the lowest forms of parenting. I'll improvise here. We can switch out parenting with coaching. Nagging creates an emotional field that repels our kids or our athletes away from us. The worst thing was I was nagging them in things I was inconsistent in. Then he got called out for his wife, who said to him, you inspire people for a living. Start inspiring your kids. Inspiration, not nagging, was about to come home. Less lectures, more vision. Less bothering, more modeling. Less telling, more showing. Less demands, more invitations. I'm going to say that line again. Less lectures, more vision. Less bothering, more modeling. Less telling, more showing. Less demands, more invitations. The effect was almost immediate and brought a totally different result. I stopped trying to get my kids to just do the right thing and focus on helping them become the right people. I changed from behavioral compliance to heart inspiration. I wanted my kids to want to follow me, not to nag them into compliance. I started to cast a vision they wanted to be a part of, told a story they wanted to be in, lived in a way that compelled them to follow. Do you nag or inspire? I want to read that line again. I started to cast a vision they wanted to be a part of told a story they wanted to be in, lived in a way that compelled them to follow. You guys know me by now, and my philosophy is that we have to be examples. Those two lines, less lectures, more vision, less bothering, more modeling, less telling, more showing. This one got me. Less demands, more invitations. I'm going to start to use that word, invite. I'll invite you to do your best in this. I'll invite you to challenge each other in this. Invitations are inclusive. And inclusivity, at least for my kids that have told me, is a, the most important part of leadership to them, is when someone is inclusive or includes everyone in the group. Invitations are inclusive. Uh, And then the last line of that is, uh, tell a story they want to be in. Tell a story they want to be in. They love stories. You guys love stories. I tell you stories all the time. Tell a story they want to be in. Let me tell you about a, a story about a team that got the best out of itself. They want to be in that story. Tell a story they want to be in. They don't want to be in a story where their coach nags them into compliance. That's a crappy story. Nobody wants to be in that story. Uh, So that is my challenge for you is start to use that word invite. I'd invite you to challenge each other on this. I'd invite you to do your best in this. Um, And then start to share your vision and tell a story that they would want to be a part of. I appreciate you. Thank you for spending some time with me today. Keep getting better every day. Thank you.